We're live. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it while I set it up. So, um, we are live today. <laughs> this is our group. <laughs> And uh, Maria, you want to come up here? So this is Maria Santa Ferraro, Hi. and she's with Daily Downward Dog. Um, and so she's going to be doing our work in Wednesday today. And this is our lovely crew of women who work here. Um, and so one of the things today is Win It Wednesday, which is our dental starter kit. So make sure you check our Facebook page and our Instagram um, and just the regular um, web page. Um, no. I think you can find them, but it, Facebook mostly, uh, for the Win It Wednesday is our dental starter kit, so check that out and all that stuff. But anyways, Maria Santaferraro is here. Um, she's going to talk a little bit about like um, her being and how she is here in the community and everything, <laughs> as I'm back here behind the scenes. Hi, I'm Maria Santaferraro. Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm really honored to be here, and I love all the Primal Life organic products. Um, I just wanted to give, if I can give a shameless plug real quick, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a bunch of yoga retreats coming up and you know, this is a time of year that everybody starts thinking about giving gifts and one of the best gifts that you can give yourself is to go away for a yoga retreat, to disconnect from your daily life and just be somewhere really tropical and amazing so that you can reconnect back to yourself. So I have three retreats coming up. One is in February in Sedona, Arizona. It's a quick three-day retreat, and it bumps right up into the Sedona Yoga Festival. And I'm gonna be a presenter at the Sedona Yoga Festival. So you could come out for a retreat and then go to the festival and have a really amazing yoga week. Uh, in March, I'm going back to Bali. I went to Bali last year. It's an amazing place to go, very spiritual. So I'm going back to Bali again. And then in April, Panama. And Panama mm. is gonna be surfing, and yoga, paddle boarding. I'm doing the retreat with Lisa Moranti and she'll be teaching everybody how to paddle board and um, how to do stand up paddle board yoga. That's so cool. go up to my website, dailydownwarddog.com, go to the retreats page, they're all there. And if you're thinking to yourself, I don't have time to go for a week, I don't have the money to go away for a week, I have lots of classes here in the Akron area, so check out my calendar and um, lots of great workshops coming up too. So um, just connect with me uh, through my website. Thank you, Maria. All right, so we're gonna begin our practice today. So yeah, I'm gonna have to be back here because. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I was trying to think about what to do today. And you know, I'm just like everybody else, even though I teach yoga and you think I'm just running around doing yoga all the time, I sit at my desk a lot. And I get to a point where I'm at my desk and I'm just like this. And I need to like just open up and get up and move around. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're just going to do some really simple movement exercises to get everybody like um, moving and grooving. And, and then I'm going to teach you a breath exercise that's absolutely magical and will calm you down if your brain is all scattered, okay? So everybody stand up. And um, so this is good. It's good to stand up. It's good to get away from your desk and stand up. And just find Tadasana pose. So Bring your feet so that they're parallel, hip distance apart, and stagger, you guys, because I don't want anybody to poke an eye out here. <laughs> that would be bad. Tina would be mad at me. <laughs> just float your arms up overhead. We're going to do some standing cat cows. So you'll take your hands, and you'll interlace your fingers, and just press your palms up to the sky as you exhale. And then as you inhale, reach your arms forward. And then as you exhale, pull your belly into your spine and take your palms forward. This is your standing cat pose and then inhale sweep your arms behind you interlace the fingers and as you exhale hug the shoulders together and pull the arms down and let your chest and your belly just float forward that's your standing cow let's do that again inhale float your arms up exhale palms press up to the sky get really long inhale float your arms forward and exhale pull the belly inward towards the spine as you exhale, round the back and bring the hands behind the back and pull the um, arms down. Maybe tilt your head up and look up towards the ceiling. Let's do one more of those. Those feel pretty good. Inhale up. Interlace your fingers. Press your palms up to the sky. Get long. Exhale. Pull the arms forward. Round the back. Pull belly into spine. Exhale. Sweep the arms behind you. Interlace the fingers, press the belly forward, hug the shoulders together, tilt the chin up if you'd like, 
And then just release here and float your arms back up overhead. Urva Hastasana. Grab onto your right wrist. Pull your right wrist up. And then hinge from the waist and just bring your arms over to the left. A little side crescent. Root down into the right foot. Press the right hip out. And then inhale, come back up. And exhale, grab onto the right wrist and bring it over to left wrist and bring it over to the right. I know my right from my left, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then float your arms up overhead. Let's do that one more time. Grab onto the right wrist, bring it over to the left. Nice way to open up the side body. And then inhale, come up and exhale, take it over to the left. All right. Now just take your arms and release them all the way back up. Let's do a little twist for the spine. So drop your arms straight forward and then just peel your left arm back and take it all the way back and take your gaze back to your left hand. Your fingers are spread wide, maybe some jazz hands here. Mm -hmm. And then pull your left hip forward so you get a twist here. Keep reaching up through the crown of your head, nice. Now float the arms back to center and this time peel the right arm back and take it all the way back. Look back at your right fingertips. Lift up through the crown of your head and then pull your right hip forward. And get a little smile on your face. That's the way to make every pose more advanced and more fun is by smiling. All right, flip both <laughs> arms back up overhead. Bring your arms straight out in front of you. We're gonna do something for the shoulders now. So take your right arm, bring it right on top of your left. Bend at the elbows and bring the hands together. Everybody knows this. This is uh, Garudasana, eagle arms. Now just take an inhale and lift the elbows up, and then go ahead and start to press your elbows over to the uh, left, and as you do that, your right elbow will press against your left forearm. You'll get a really nice rinse through that shoulder. Keep lifting up through the crown of your head. And yeah, I hear some, see some people shaking their heads, like, yeah, that feels good. All right, come back to neutral. Release the arms, float them up with a little woo <laughs> and then bring them down, and this time you'll bring your left arm over top of the right. Bend at the elbow, bring the hands together. Lift your elbows up, get that nice rinse, and then just gently pull the elbows over to the right. And again, just breathe some space, breathe some love into your left shoulder. Keep standing tall here, you guys look awesome. All right, come back to neutral, sweep your arms up overhead. And then just bring your hands down to your sides. Lift your shoulders up to your ears. Bring your hands into a fist. And hold your breath. I know yoga teachers never say that, but just hold your breath for a moment. Inhale in. Hold it. And then exhale. Just let it all out. Nice. And just standing there with your hands at your sides. Take another inhale up. Lift up through the crown of your head. And exhale. Just bring your right ear down towards your right shoulder. Pull your left hand down like you're trying to reach the ground with your left fingertips and breathe some love into the left side of the neck. And then inhale, come back to neutral and we'll take the left ear to the left shoulder and pull the right arm down and just breathe some space into the right side of the neck. All right, come back to neutral. Let's do one more thing. This is really energizing. From um, your standing position, just float your arms up and come all the way up onto your toes and reach up as high as you can and just keep kind of, kind of reaching up, reaching up. You might start to wobble a little bit and just take one more breath here. Lift up as high as you can and on our exhale, we're just going to swan back down and just come into a forward fold. Bend your knees and just sway your arms from side to side. Let your head dangle down. Maybe take an inhale in and just exhale out with that. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. And it's good to forward fold like this and just let all the blood and oxygen flow down into your head. It's very energizing. And then bring your hands to your low back like you're putting your hands in pockets of jeans. Hug the elbows together. Hug the thighs together. Lift up from your belly and come right up on your inhale. Just come up really fast and then float your arms up overhead. And exhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's do that one more time. Sweep your arms all the way up overhead. Reach up. Come up onto your toes. Reach, 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 reach. <laughs> and then swan dive down. Forward fold. Let the head just melt down. Gently sway 
away from side to side. And then we'll bring the hands to the low back again. Fingers pointing down, hug elbows, hug thighs together, lift up from the belly, rise up on your inhale, and sweep the arms up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. All right, so come on and um, come to a seated position now, everyone. You guys feel a little bit more energized? Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to do one of my favorite breath exercises. And every time I teach this, people think I'm totally punking them. But this is really, truly a pranayama breathing exercise. It's in the textbook, so I'm not like punking you guys here at Primal Life today. It's <laughs> called Brahmari Breath, and um, Brahmari means bumblebee. And it's really easy oh, to do. I like this one. <laughs> yeah. Bring your thumbs uh, to your ears, and then you're going to wrap your hands around your eyes. And so you're blocking off your eyesight and your hearing. Bring your hands down for just a minute. Let me explain one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear. Because then you won't be able to hear the instructions. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an inhale from the belly and bring it all the way up to the crown of the head. And when you get to the top of your breath, hold it for a moment. And then exhale. When you exhale, it sounds like this. And that's why it's called Brahmari breath, because it sounds like a bumblebee. When you get to the end of your breath, it'll sound like this. And you'll know like you can't make the noise anymore, so you have to take another inhale in, pause at the top, exhale out. Make it really loud. The louder you do it, the better. And we're gonna do six of them. And after you finish your sixth one, bring your hands down to your knees, keep your eyes closed. I guarantee you'll feel something really magical. And what you'll feel that's magical is that all of the chatter in your mind has just completely quieted and you'll find a place of peace. So sit up nice and tall, everyone. Yeah. And then let's bring the um, thumbs to the ears and bring the hands around to the eyes. I'm only going to cue the first one. So if you're doing this from home, count your own. We'll do six together. So take an inhale in. your eyes closed and let the effects of the Bomari breath settle in. Hopefully this breath has brought you to a place of peace in your mind. It's a beautiful way to quiet the mind, especially in the middle of the day. And with that clear mind, you can step off of your mat refreshed and uh, ready to take on the rest of your Put your hands to your heart. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me. With a heart full of gratitude to all of you, I bow to you all. Namaste. Mm, namaste. Namaste. Hey. <laughs> so Maria Santoro, check her out on Daily Downward Dog. 
and uh, we're here Primal Life Organics and our Win It Wednesday is um, the Dental Starter Pack so check us out thank you so much for You're coming welcome. thanks for having me yeah <laughs>